in this video, let's talk about technical factors in SEO. Why it is matter in SEO? Technical factors in SEO is like an entry ticket when you enter in a cinema, for example. And technical factors in SEO, we talk about your blog page optimization, not your blog content, meaning our task on this course is to optimize our blog to enter in the major search engine. Let me show you a infographic. As you see on this graphic, in the center, this is your blog post with on-page optimization in the post title permalink, meta description, header tags in your content h1, h2, h3, your blog unique content more than 300 words, don't get short, internal linking, adding images, image title tag in alt tag, and of course, low keyword competition. This is the example of technical factor in SEO. Technical factor one, existence of meta description. This meta description is very important because these show up in Google search engine result. Some users or mostly users read the result description before they click the content they want. And let me show you the live example on that. And as you see on this example, we type a keyword blogger breadcrumbs. And this is my website. And this is the meta description on this blog. Blogger tutorial for beginners on how to add blogger breadcrumb. This is the keyword. So some users read this before clicking this and some users are not, but it's better to optimize your meta description. Meta description tag improve your search engine click to read but it won't improve your search engine rankings. So write a better meta description for your blog. Use a keyword in your meta description will assure users that this is exactly what they're looking for. SEO factor number two, existence of H tag. Blog content must have H tags like H1, H2, H3, and etc. Title of the blog must be H tag like H1 or H2. If the blog title is already H1, the subtitle in the content is H2, H3. If the blog title is H2 tag, the subtitle in the content is H3, H4, etc. And let me show you the live example on this. This is an H1. And this is an H2 tag, H3. I believe this is H3. And let me show you how to know that. And Google Chrome, press F12 in your keyboard to show the developer's tool. And click this arrow icon. And drag, little drag. I guess. It won't work. This is an H1, guys. The title of the blog are H1 or H2. It's fine. And the subtitle like this is H3. So this is good, guys. Let's back to the slide. SEO factor number three. Domain SEO visibility score. Or domain authority. To explain about domain SEO visibility, let me show you an example. In this example, I go to google.com and search a keyword of WordPress website. And as you see, the first three result is an advertisement came from WordPress, PageCloud, and 1RWP. And this is Stark for organic search result came from wordpress.com and the third is came from wordpress.org wordpress.org 
and let's scroll up down a bit as you see in this result came from creativeblog.com now guys even creativeblog.com optimize this post to the keyword of WordPress website it's very very less chance to get the first result or second and third why because of domain SEO visibility score or domain authority score let's scroll up there have an online tools can measure domain SEO visibility score so let's try wordpress.com copy this this is the tool came from moss.com and search and as you see the result of wordpress.com the domain authority score is 97 over 100 and the page authority is 95 so it's very very high even if the creativeblog.com optimize that post is less chance to get the first result because of the domain authority score so let's try the creativeblog.com copy this Oop. copy this first let's browse another one and copy this let's try the domain authority score for creativeblog.com as you see the domain authority score is 85 and 85 and the total backlinks from high domain authority is around 60,000 only like this WordPress over 1.3 million and domain authority score is much much important than optimizing your blog posts to increase your website domain authority score is build a backlinks from high authority domain such as social medias facebook twitter and google plus try to search the domain authority score for facebook i believe the score is maybe 98 or 100 and second commenting on high authority blog at least guys there have a score at least 3 or 5 10 20 that's fine guys and lastly don't build just a blog build a domain brand name why because let me show you an example let's back to search engine let's remove this if more and more people typing your domain brand name in search engine your domain authority score will increase let me show you an example example c net if more and more people typing your domain brand name google search engine will suggest your brand name like this c net so this is the hint this is the hint people typing your brand name in the search engine so that's why build a domain brand name not just a blog or website let me show you my website and as you see the brand name is suggesting in the Google search engine so this is the hint if more and more people typing your brand name in the search engine actually guys this is the person this is not a brand it's up to you if you use a brand base or person base and let's proceed to the next slide <laughs>